Warm up. Warm up. Dear Snoopy, we're gonna look at more penises again today. I'll probably fly off the table if I go like super fast, right? Holy sh! Whoa! Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching? BMUSB Mess. We're back to look at more penises. I mean, uh, peanuts. Chris, peanuts, man. Got a nice smile on his face. It's all good, dear. We're not gonna look at your peanuts. We're gonna look at these. Look at my fish! I wanna lick these shits too! Lick up Snoopy! Lick his peanuts, I mean! So last time we saw a brand called Linos, L-I-N-O-O-S. We're gonna look at them again. We're also gonna look at another brand that just recently acquired the rights to also do peanuts, Snoopy. So we're gonna get three sets, smaller sets today. So nice small video. I'll try to be fast. Sit back, relax. Let's look at these things. What are we looking at now? So the first one we're looking at is H. Sanhi's Peanuts Cafe Coffee Shop, S005. They don't specify how many pieces. I think it's like between 500 to 600 pieces. Here's the box. I think the box is actually really good. However, that's the logo for the company name. We do know it's the brand H Sanhi because I had to order it directly from the supplier, but they don't show that name here. So they're kind of like, maybe they're trying to rebrand themselves. I don't know what's going on, but there's the box. And I like the presentation. Once again, it is authorized. Peanuts Worldwide LLC. Peanuts.com. They even have a, a sticker there that's sealed, sealed with the approval. Yeah, nice blue, nice design, and very cool looking box. But we don't need the box anymore. Of course, we got the manual here. There's the booklet. Very nice, simple design. Was it easy to read? Yeah, it was actually pretty easy to read. One thing I did notice though is H. Sanhi has been around for a long time. Pretty sure they're using their own bricks. The clutch is pretty tight. So your kids might have a hard time actually trying to push down on the bricks. You might have to help them out a little bit. Even me, man, I was like trying to hammer these things down. Other than that, you look at the set, it looks pretty good. So here's the coffee shop. First thing you might notice is that it looks very familiar. If you're into like toy miniatures, especially a brand called Rement, it actually looks like it's based off like a miniature toy set, but it's all Lego compatible bricks except for the back wall. Damn it, why they had to do that for? So the back wall is just a piece of cardboard. See it right there? That's the only downside to the set. And the other one's like, oh, I kind of wish they would have built the wall. I think that makes it cheaped out. If you're gonna order this from us or anywhere, your cardboard might bend, hopefully it doesn't. For this specific set, what I didn't like about this part was that it's, all the main stickers are just being used on this board. You kind of have to use them. It looks nice, right? It's official Snoopy stuff. Yeah, you gotta use it. Or keep the sticker on the sheet. You'll just have a plain brick wall. I like how the brick wall is like, it's embossed. It's got a little bit of feeling there. And I mean, it's kind of a nice, it's a neat little idea. I just kind of wish it was all brick built, but it holds in the back just fine. The other thing you're probably gonna notice by now is that every furniture in here or the tables is really tall. So if you're gonna put a standard figure with this, they're gonna look super tiny like this. Let's pull someone random out again. Here, we'll just pull this guy out from the last set. Cause he looks like he runs the coffee shop. So there's a standing figure, standing next to the Snoopy figure from H. Sanhi. By the way, this Snoopy figure is totally different from the last few videos I've done for Snoopy. <sighs> Something nasty on my table. But there you go. You can see what the figure looks like there. Now I'll move him out of the way. Let's take a look at the details. Yo, it's all tiled on the front. There's only one front, but everything's all super tiled, which looks super clean. But again, tight clutch means things might pop off. It might not be completely even. I like the color and the tone of it though. The counter is actually pretty amazing. This set has a lot of little like accessories and stuff that will fall off the set. You do have to be a little bit careful. For example, here on the counter, you got a piece of croissant and have a little paper piece of sheet there. You put your croissant on. So if you want to buy your croissant with your coffee, there you go. I'm so hungry. More stickers here, going across tiles. Coffee, all my dog hair. Oh my goodness, so much dog hair getting stuck to this color. This brick is collecting dust, man, it's a magnet. Along this massive counter, you got the coffee 50% off sign there. Little cash register, a small little shelf with some mugs and some coffee on top. And on the front, 
You got some coffee mugs hanging there. Yo, I like the design of it. It's just, it's huge for a figure. It's actually kind of big even for Snoopy. He stands right there, he's like, who's gonna be able to reach over this counter? Nobody. But you can actually just take off the whole counter if you wanted to and be like, there you go. You can see, oh, everything's falling off. Something like that, you can pull it off. And if I show you the back here, there's nothing back there. A little slot for extra pieces you can put there. This is a little tiny piece of paper. It actually has detail on it. It's the comic book on that paper. I like the flower. That green is pretty nice. Now, the loose thing on this set is actually this cabinet. This will just slide off everywhere. But I like the look of it. You got uh, like a phonograph on the top. Looks like a jar of coffee clock there. And I think those are books. Yeah, those look like books there. And more coffee down below. Style. It's actually got a lot of style to it. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Fun to put together. No issues with this. Everything holds in pretty fairly nicely. It's just very tall for a shell. We'll slide this back in here. Let's see if I can pull this out. Coffee machine area, kind of. Coffee machine, fun to put together. I had one melted piece, so you cannot see it. It's blocked off by this coffee machine. See, I was smart. So you might get some missing pieces or deformed pieces. It happens once in a while. Uh, deal with it. And then you got some stickers down here for the drawers. These don't open up or anything, but yeah, it's just like that. Still fun to put together. I like the design. Another little coffee machine here. Make your espresso, your frappuccino, your Americano, cold brew. And the only thing left for this one is this little sign here. It's this coffee shop. The prices of your drinks with Snoopy on it. And that's it. So tiny, so small. So a little bit off scale for sure for minifigures. If you're a Snoopy fan, 100% get it. It's still really cool. I think it looks great as a display piece. This is beautiful, especially if you own a little coffee joint. Put this up and people will walk in and smile when they see this. They'll be like, Snoopy, I want some coffee. Yeah, you want to see Snoopy too? Let's look at Snoopy. So this Snoopy is different from the other brand. I like his hands. It has studs on the inside. He looks very cartoon. He's actually a little bit bigger than the other ones. And his body actually comes in pieces. So you have to put the tummy on and then you have to put his tail on. You have to put his ears on separately. So you do have to kind of build it a little bit. And he has an apron here. It's a paper apron. I don't like that. It says coffee time. It keeps popping off on the back. They even give you a sticker to try to hold it down. It's all right. But the figure itself actually looks good. I think that's one advantage that these brands have. They don't want it to make it look like a figure because of copyright. They can totally make this look more cartoon and anime looking. And I am totally okay with that. But there you go. That's the coffee shop. What's the next one? So the next one is from H. Sanhi once again. Peanuts. This is S006. This is the barbershop. Haircut joint. Same deal. The, the amount of pieces, 500, 600, I don't know. Something like that. Here we go with the box again. It's almost exactly the same kind of packaging as the last one. I gotta admit, man, the render on the box looks pretty much close to what the set looks like, which is really good. The book is exactly the same as well. Here's the booklet. Tight clutch, but it is easy to read. And you actually get these done in no time too. They're pretty fast. This one is much more colorful. This one has a lot more loose bricks that you just like, a lot accessories. They come with a bunch of accessories. And the coffee shop too, there's actually an extra bag that you can put all your bread inside. This one has a bunch of like scissors, hairbrushes, and you're just supposed to place them all over the set, but they're gonna fall off like on the shelf and stuff. So this one is kind of like, uh, I wish everything could be held down a little bit better. But the background, at least you're not like stickering up the background. I'll pull this out here. That's what it looks like without it. It looks pretty plain though, yeah? If I slide this back here and just show you the background there. I, I don't mind this. I actually prefer this because the stickers are, or it's all printed there. They didn't even have to make stickers for it, but it does not have an embossed feel to it. But yeah, I like the little posters. Barbershop, that looks pretty neat. Look at him, man. He's sitting in this gigantic chair with a gigantic mirror in front of him. Yeah, it's a little bit off, right? Even if I put him behind the counter here, and there's a stool here. He's sitting down there on the stool now. Would you like to get a haircut in this giant salon? So yeah, that is a downside. Like, ah, uh, I think it's just more for a display. If you're a Snoopy fan, you have to kind of like let your imagination fly and not do the scale thing. 
But like the coffee one, the design and, the, and some of the, the way they did the build was actually pretty good. You might want to use that in your own mocks, but just somehow scale it down. I don't know how you're going to do it. Once again, it is all tiled. Be careful because the clutch is it's tight. It's so tight, it'll flex this part. What a shame. And something just fell off the shelf. And in order for me to get that piece, I had to use my tweezers. My fun hole tweezers. These are like my favorite tweezers now. Fun hole. Where did this go? Oh, up here. I'll put it from the back. Oh no. As I was saying, tile. Lots of colors on this one. I do like the other one better because it's like a darker tone, but this is like a haircut play. So it's gonna be more fun and upbeat. Kind of got like a 80s style look to it. We come to the counter over here. Very nice to shape the look. I like the scissors. You build all that stuff. So that's like kind of cool. And can I pull it off too? You can. There you go. Oh, it comes off nice and easy. So that's good for a change. So I slide it here. It has a little bit of a bend there, but they have studs on the plate here so that it holds and locks it into place. I like the flowers. The telephone was a cool touch, but all stickers. You got a coupon there, 50% off. The cash register, we've seen that cash register done so many times, but the shape of the desk, so wait, have that curved part. It's pretty cool, I like that. And I'll put this back here. There's a little stool back there. The figures will fall off that stool. So look, the shelf back here, it is actually really cool. I love building it. I thought it was perfectly fine, but there's nothing to hold the pieces down on the inside. All that shit is just going to spill out. It's just got random stuff in there. You, you just put like decoration books, more brushes. You can totally do what you want to that. What the hell kind of shelf is that? Everything's just going to fall apart. You gotta glue them on the set. Use some crago. You got a tree on the top, which I like. I like that tree. It reminds me of the, the Lego tree house that I built and reviewed. Remember that one? That was fun. There's a little book up there, fashion. And there's a picture hanging on the wall. Snoopy, barbershop. Along the back, you got two red curtains. They look like curtains anyway. They're not holding the background or anything. They're just there for decoration. At least you got those if you want to remove this thing here. Another plant there, just the same one from the other set. And you got these two giant mirrors. There are no stickers on it, which is good. They're just using like silver pieces. It's not too reflective, but it's still better than having a sticker. I'll see some, all the pieces are just falling off. I'm trying to see if I can just take one of these out for you first, just to show you. It, they made it very cutie, like, like a cat or something, you know? And they have clips here to put more accessories. Very simple build. You have to build two of these, which will be very fast. So the other one is totally identical, except it has a blow dryer on the other one. Easy to slot these in. And then you got these massive chairs that are on clips. See if I can pull one off. The biggest chair in the world. Y'all like that it's on the steering wheel part or a gear piece. And they're smart. I like the clip idea that they're using. They're kind of like the other brand that we just saw where it just clips in there keeply where it just kind of clips in there and it holds it in place. So you're not gonna lose the chairs, but you're gonna lose everything else. Like this cabinet or rolling thing, they've had some accessories on the inside, like scissors and all that stuff, but I didn't, those are in my spare bags now. But you can deck this out and it has a wig on top. Very simple little table. And finally, you got this Snoopy. This Snoopy is exactly the same build as the other one, except that he's wearing a scarf in this one. Detail looks amazing to me, it's perfect and totally fine. So that's the two Ace Tiny sets. Let's look at the last one, here we go. So the last one we're looking at is from Linus, Linus. This is Peanuts Railways. LN8086, 522 pieces. Here is the box. Linus bricks designs and all that is much more simple than even what we saw with Ace Tiny, but they're actually pretty fun to put together. You guys watched the last video, didn't you? I did so many sets in one video. Again, this is authorized. This is an original design and they have proof on their tape. They have the copyright information there. So you're good to go, man. You can get these, these are cool. Everyone wants train, 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 train. This one seems a little bit more simple, but I like the box, nice, simple package design. We'll see all the details, but it is pretty empty. Even with the bricks in there, you don't need a box that big. Here's the book. They get straight into it. That's how you build. The figures are the same kind of figures we saw in the last video. And the building process for this, actually really fun. I think you can get this done in about 15 minutes, maybe 10 if you're good. You can, it's fast, man. 
Okay, first thing everyone's gonna ask is, will this fit on track? So let's see if we can get this on the track. A video that I have not done yet is a custom train mock. And we have, because we have a bunch of them, this is one of the sets that we currently sell. The telephone poles are separate. The telephone poles are totally cool. I just put it on the set. And this is another mock design that you can buy from our store. I'll put the link in the description. But I'm just trying to check if the train will fit on this. Unfortunately, the track is not long enough. But, oh, it looks like it, this part does, but the back wheel of that train doesn't. These guys are fine, the smaller ones. This is a really weird way of doing it. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm lazy to take the tracks off. But these ones are fine. So it's just this, these, this big wheel, it's kind of like over the track. Oh, I just knocked down a telephone pole. Hey, look, the telephone pole totally survived. So, except one piece that fell off. So pretty secure. So if you want telephone poles for your sets, get them, these are really good. Maybe I can take one of these off. Put this underneath here. So just to show you guys, it'll still roll. You might want to just take these big wheels off or put the small ones back on there. You might have to do a little bit of modification. But for anyone asking if these fit on train tracks, there you go. It still rolls fine, look at that. Oh, they thought about that though. They're like, oh, it's gonna roll, no worries. Okay, back, we gotta look at the train. I'll take the train off. So yeah, cool little mock, very simple set, easy to build. Comes with instruction too, thank goodness. I thought it was gonna be all PDF stuff. So this is old style locomotive steam train. Very different from the Disney one, the official one. I have the Disney train one. It's a lot bigger. This is a lot smaller in terms of scale, but it's still very cute. So I'll take the first one off. We'll look at the engine part of this thing. Oh, there we go. Slide it to the side. Yo, I like the steam coming out. It's like a thick cloud. It's not a couple pieces. It's like, it looks three dimensional, like a little cartoon, right? The most unfortunate part is, yeah, you got stickers everywhere. Snoopy, the engine here, Snoopy railways along the top. You might not want to put those on. The ones on the side I think are okay. This one here looks kind of tacky. Totally secured, except for that piece. Here, I'll tighten it up here and we'll do that again. Yeah, it's secure. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun putting it together. I'm like, this is so baby, so small, but it's cool. I like the look of the side there. Got some details with the rails here, push those in. And just that thing, like, do you want to use these big wheels? I'm not a train guy, man. You guys tell me if that looks more appropriate or does it look too cartoony and squished? Oh, I like the size of it, man. Look, look at that pretty handsome face. The guy's like, yeah, I'm so happy. You can't unsee that now. Here's the back side. They do use these pieces here to link the other carriages on, like the Technic pieces. And this can come off there. And inside, you can open this up, but open it up there. You can see one piece of flame. I guess that's supposed to be a flame. And it can fit the character inside. So again, Snoopy is kind of the same as the other brand that we saw. Oh, he looks kind of cool. So his arms articulate a little bit more and he's more like standard arm sty style. There you go. There's Snoopy inside. So he can fit in there. Put this back on here. Yo, I love this. I think it's pretty cute. Even though it's slightly smaller. Now let's look at the next part of the carriage. That thing almost slid off the table. Yo, this is so itty bitty and small. So this one and the last one and even parts of the first one, it's easy to build the under part. They're all kind of like mimicking each other. They're all the same, like the wheels and stuff and the style. Super solid. This one opens up from the top. There's a little hatch here. It's actually fairly simple in design, but inside it's just like, I guess the thing, the tar to make the track and that's it. It's pretty plain inside. There's a little sticker there on the back. Yeah, I wouldn't use the stickers. You can't even see that one. I'd say the stickers to stick somewhere else. But I like the look in the design of this. It looks very like metal carriage type thing. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a container. Very easy, very simple and small. There you go. That's the second one. Last one here. It's the passenger car. And it's cute. Classic train. It's like cute style, like Japanese uh, cheaply. Like when they squeeze and make all the characters like fat and cute. That's what this one is like. Does the top open up? It sure does. There are only, oh look, there's only two seats inside. That's it. So at least you can put two characters in there. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown can't bend his knees. 
But he, at least he can go in there and he can totally fit Snoopy if I put Snoopy back in here. Oh, squeeze. Yeah, you can you can be better than me. I'm sure you can fit two, two characters inside here sitting down. And let's take this off. There are no doors, so you can slide them from the side too. Come out. Oh, Snoopy, your head's too big. Okay, we'll take Charlie Brown off this way. So that's the third one. I think it's actually pretty cute. So we can link these all back up together. The train is going to go choo choo. And it's going to leave this platform, which actually comes with the set. So it's nice that they did add that on here. Snoopy was here. Charlie Brown's here. And finally, you got Woodstock hanging out. The station platform would take you about one minute to put together. It is so fast but I'm glad that they did include this in the set. It's just a nice little touch, you know? You can keep all the characters here, just like I did. Nice little display stand. Got a couple of these papers there. Chrissy did a terrible job putting that sticker on. What did they find on the moon? Snoopy walks on the moon. Oh, that's a hint to buy the space set. Yes, Snoopy does have a bunch of space sets and they're pretty cool. I built some of them. Should I review those? Let me know if you want to see more Snoopy reviews. More than happy to do them. There's a peanut station sign there and a shovel in the rail, I don't know why that shovel's there. So the three guys here on the platform, we've got Charlie Brown, who looks very, very happy. I like his outfit, it's very simple. We've actually seen this guy in the other set, so we don't have to see him again, but he does have a briefcase there. And it has a sticker on it, it has Snoopy on it. Probably can't see it. Trust me, it's a Snoopy. We've got Snoopy there with his railway hat on. I like him, and he's got a printed bow tie. At least that's printed, thank goodness. He looks nice and happy. And of course, we got Woodstock. For some reason on my Woodstock, he looks weird on the side, like weird printing. I had to check the other ones if they're like that, but you can see it on the side of his face there. Anyway, very cool. You get three guys with the train set. Simple stuff, guys, like a cartoon. I actually like this one quite a lot. It just looks fitting. Maybe I'll keep this one in the future if I do a train section of my city, which we'll never ever get to. One day. Okay, what you're seeing in front of me is this nice, beautiful setup. No, actually, this is from the Disney Lego train set. Here's part of it. My son has destroyed the other parts. A lot of you have been asking whether or not the Snoopy train set will work on a regular track. So this is the older style, right? Didn't Lego like update their tracks to be a little bit different? I don't know. Anyway, the Snoopy train will work on the track, which we saw earlier, but now I made a full one for you so you can see this thing move. Unfortunately for the engine part, yeah, see? This part is a little bit janky because of those big wheels. They might not want to turn. It will go on a straight track just fine, but it probably won't go on a curve correctly unless I take off these back wheels, which will do like that. And you might want to replace that with more support for the, you know, or extra piece of the wheel here. But if I take that off, it will actually roll through just fine. So yeah, the big wheels will obstruct the curve for sure. We can see it's rolling through there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, cool. Going through, it looks a little bit weird. Unless I loosen up these big wheels. Let's put these back on just for fun. Now what I've done is I've extended the back wheel out a little bit more so it can kind of go on the curve. It's still gonna be janky, man. So my recommendation would be to take off the big wheels because those are just for show. Replace them with extra pieces of your train parts for that. And it'll roll just fine. The other question is, is what about motorizing it? So this piece here, I've tried it before. The easiest way is to detach. So we take this part off the Technic piece here and I take one of the Technic pieces out from here. It'll actually attach to the magnet piece on the top. The stud just fits that Technic piece. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that. So here we're gonna try it right now. Attach it there like that. It's on pretty tight. And then this side, you can, I guess you can attach this part there. And it's all leveled out too. That's good. There, oh, it's raised up a little bit there. You might want to just maybe flip this side around. Take one of these out. Put this to here. It fits really good. That's a surprise. And it's still like kind of leveled out. So if you have a Disney train track with a motor piece, this is the easiest solution to get it going. How do I attach this part on? We'll need another little Technic piece, which I don't have here. But let's just try these two first. So I'm turning this on. Let me get my Lego powered app going. Okay, we got signal. Let's 
I might get copyright strike for the music, so let's just ring the bell. There we go. Okay, we're gonna move forward. Close this. It's running. So that's the easiest way. Get one more Technic piece if you wanna add this part on. Make it faster. Yes, yeah, Snoop here. It'll probably fly off the table if I go like super fast, right? Holy sh**. Whoa. Oh, the whole track's moving, man. Oh no. I have destroyed the train. There you guys go. That's the easiest way. <laughs> well, the Disney train completely shattered. The funny thing is, this is totally in one piece. It's all back together. Okay. Be careful, kids. When you're making this thing fly, where you saw it work, the other solution is whether or not you can break this down and put the motor piece into this one. So you want, if you want to keep the carriage smaller, right? The thing is, it doesn't quite fit. You'll have to actually use this Lego piece, like take this out here, put the battery in here. It will actually almost fit, not quite. You have to make some adjustments. What I would do is, or my recommendation is use the, the Disney one. You guys might have other different power situations. For me, I only have this one to rely on, but at least I can show it to you how it would work. So you'd want to use this piece and put it onto here. You know, you could take this off here. You'll want to modify it, put more yellow pieces along here or more black pieces so that it can fit onto here. And then you can do the whole thing where it's just like these three carriages. You know, this is a bad example, but it would look kind of something like that, just for your information. So it can be powered. It will run on the track, minus these two big wheels. You want to take those off and keep the small wheels here or put two more small ones back here to hold it down just for extra security. And just don't make it go too fast. There you go. It is compatible with these standard Lego tracks. Not this. This right here is, is not a Lego brand track, but we do sell a bunch of these mock styles tracks. Anyway, there, cool. Now if you go check out my website or I'll put the link in the description or go to breakmeupscotty.com and search Snoopy. We have a bunch of sets on there. These are the other ones from H Sunny, which I haven't gotten to yet. So you got like the classic dog house and this is different from the Lino sets already or Linos, but this one is, looks cool. I like, I really like the presentation of the boxes, right? So you got this dog house there. This one is like a beach, the Baron, but it's not red. I like the waves in a way it's holding up transparent pieces, holding up the plane. Very cute idea. There's the back. So maybe one day I'll review these for you. But in the meantime, I got too much to do. I can certainly show you the boxes. There's another school bus set. It's like half a school bus. They're like cute little dioramas. I'm like, yo. But just, you know, know that the clutch is a little bit tight. The last one here is the camping set. Oh, this one looks like it uses fabric. I'm kind of curious to see what the fabric looks like. These are the ones that are going on the store, by the way. So this might be your order that you're looking at. Oh yeah, oh, it's like a big, oh, it's like a big fabric, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like a plastic, plastic fabric. Oh no, a nighttime backdrop. Shame on these backdrops. So there you go, there's a lot to look at. A lot to buy if you're a Snoopy fan. These are authorized. Yay, hey, hey. All right, now that you all enjoyed Snoopy, it's time to drop these. All the little pieces are gonna fly. You ready for this? This is gonna be a lot of fun. Yay!
coffee shop actually survived pretty good. Only the coffee machine came off. The salon kind of got destroyed, but it's only the big pieces and all the little accessories that fell off. The train is pretty A-OK, -okay, except for like minor things like the side of the train and the chimney part there and connecting all this back up. It's pretty solid, it's small. Did I have to drop it? No, do you guys like me dropping it? Of course. Okay, we're finished with this video. Let's get out of here. So there you guys go. Snoopy, Snoopy, Snoopy. Lots of Snoopy for you and me. Cheer you up, keep you happy, keep your kids happy, keep you happy to look at these sets. Hopefully you buy them and they make more. Hopefully they do bigger sets. We need to see a modular Snoopy house. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll bring you more goodies. More goodies for us to spend our money on. Until next time, you guys. Pick me out. Choo choo. <laughs>